The main idea and algorithms behind neural networks and deep learning is very old. But why is it that deep learning is getting popular now only? It's in the years after 2012 that deep learning is getting traction and it's getting popular. So in this lesson, we will see some of the factors which have impacted in its popularity in the recent years. First and foremost is the data. Thanks to the digitization and everybody is having smartphones and it has inbuilt camera in those smartphones and uh, sharing platforms and social networking platforms have become very popular these days. So a uh, lots of sharing is happening and lots of data is being generated every day. So that has helped the progress of deep learning uh, networks. So uh, I would like to give some uh, intuition, some visualization, why is data impacting the deep learning algorithms. So uh, the earlier uh, algorithms like SVM logistic regression, if you see the performance of those tradi traditional ML algorithms with the amount of data, you will see that it will improve for a certain amount of time and then quickly it will let you and the progress will not increase. So this is for SVM, logistic regression and other classical ML algorithms. Maybe it increased till this amount of data. If you have a fairly smaller size neural network, maybe it will go like this. But still it will plateau after some time. So with large amount of data, you will gain some additional performance, but it will also let you after some time. If you have a medium sized network, you may achieve something like this. And this one is for small NN. That is uh, the number of uh, hidden units and number of neurons in each of those layers. Those govern the size of neural network. And if you have a very deep neural network, then you may get performance like this. So it may get better and better. So very deep neural network. So uh, due to digitization, we have huge amount of data today. but data alone is not the factor but you can see that data has a huge impact on the performance of our neural network algorithms this uh, neural network can be for spam classifier can be for ad click prediction can be for object detection uh, sentiment classification whatever is the neural network their performance keeps on increasing with large amount of data if uh, the network is very deep so this is one factor for its popularity. So you need to have a large amount of data labeled data and second you need to have very deep neural network. Alone data will not help. You see it plateaus and also deep neural network alone cannot help. It needs the more deeper your network is, it will need more and more data in order to have high performance. And if you see this uh, small region, this region with small data, here there is uh, the relative ordering is not well defined. If you look on the high data regime, you will see that a clearly deep neural network is a winner as compared to medium neural network and uh, a medium neural network is winner as compared to traditional ML algorithms. But in this region, hand engineering becomes important. And uh, that's why people's domain knowledge comes in handy while using or uh, dealing with a small amount of data. And we will denote amount of data or number of training examples with M throughout this series. So this was just one of the factors. Now let's look at other factors. So this we have seen. Next is uh, computation and algorithms. 
so there has been continuous effort uh, in terms of improving the algorithms uh, making the algorithm run much faster and similar uh, initiative has been taken uh, by the deep learning community also how uh, we can uh, train the network faster so one example is that uh, there was a problem called vanishing gradient and with sigmoid activation function uh, the networks were taking very large amount of time to train because networks are trained by doing gradient descent so we whatever is the error that error is back propagated and uh, you will see that for uh, the sigmoid function it's flat in most part in this region and this region only in this part it has good slope so gradient descent was taking much more time to converge whereas uh, if this activation is replaced by this relu activation then its slope is always one so gradient descent takes less time to train so this is just one example of algorithmic innovation in deep learning then there are other innovations to improve computation and there has also been some uh, improvements in the computation power like uh, much more powerful gpus have come as compared to earlier days uh, where a simple neural network would take a long long time and this computation power is directly contributing to the popularity of neural network because in neural network you define some model so define the model then you train it on the given data so after one iteration you will see that uh, or some iterations you will see that this model is good or not so accordingly you will modify it and retrain your model maybe with a newer model or newer set of data again you will do some modification and again retrain the data retrain your model on a new data or or the same data so you see that this uh, the time taken by the model to train is very important if this training time takes uh, let's say 20 days uh, then uh, it will be hard to make modification and try out lots of things but if let's say with uh, very powerful gpus this training time reduces from 20 days to 2 days or one day then you can do a lot many experiments and those experiments are required in order to reach to a, a stable model or good model for your requirement so you we saw that data computation power as well as algorithms these all play a crucial role in the popularity of neural networks and deep learning in the recent years